Hello, hello, hello. I am the Linux Bench. Most Linux users know about NeoFetch. It's a program that works in the terminal that gives you information about your computer and your system. And most Linux YouTubers at one time or another will use NeoFetch in their videos, as do I. But I discovered a better terminal application that shows more information and I think it's better than NeoFetch and I'm going to show it to you today. So let's get to it. So in most of my videos, I do uh, go into virtual machines and show you things. Today, I'm not going to use virtual machines. I'm going to use my real bare metal computers. Now I have four computers at home here. I have two Dells and two Acer's. Real bare metal computers. And this computer I'm in right now is my main computer. It's the computer I do all my recording on and Actually, it's the computer I'm using right now to make this video. And of course, it's Arch Linux with the awesome window manager. So I'm going to open up a terminal. And I'm going to type in NeoFetch. So you can see my username, my computer name. I'm running Arch Linux. This is an Optiplex 7010. It's a Dell. I'm running in the real-time long-term support kernel. It's been up for 19 hours. Uh, you can see the resolution here. This computer is hooked up to two monitors. So you can see the two different resolutions I have. It's because I have two monitors. And as you can see, I'm running the awesome window manager. And I, it's 16 megabytes of RAM. And I'm using a 900 megabytes because I have OBS Studio open and I'm recording. Otherwise, the RAM usage would be lower. Now I'm going to clear the screen. Now I'm going to SSH into another computer. I'm just going to type in the information and I'm in. Now let's Neo fetch. So this computer is the computer that's in the living room. And there's my username. There's my computer name. I'm running Arch Linux. This is an Adel Optiplex 790. It's running in the real time long term support kernel. Uh, now, the funny thing is that this computer is hooked up to two monitors. Well, it's hooked up to a monitor, a computer monitor, and it's also hooked up to our television. So when we live stream or when we watch streaming videos, we can turn the computer on and turn on the video and watch it on the TV. And also the sound comes out of our stereo. So here, look at it. It's not showing that there's two monitors hooked up or two screens hooked up. Number one. And number two, it's not showing whether I'm in the awesome window manager or QTile window manager or some other desktop environment. And as a matter of fact, this computer, well, the computer in the living room, <laughs> the one we're logged into, is running the Cinnamon desktop. So it doesn't show that and it doesn't show I'm on two monitors. So let's clear the screen and let's do... Um, so this new program, well, it's not a new program. It's new to me. I just discovered it. It's called Fast Fetch. So now look at all the information we have here. You can see we have all the information as we did before, but we also have it showing that I have two displays, right? So the first one is the computer monitor. The second one is the Samsung TV that we have. And it's showing it's external. Now, the reason why the resolution is the same is because it's mirrored. So when I turn on a streaming video, it shows on the television. Okay. And look at it also shows that I'm running the Cinnamon desktop. How about that? And it also shows that Swap is disabled. So if you've been watching my videos, you know that when I install Arch, I don't install Swap. Uh, some people believe in swap and some don't. I don't think it's necessary, but that's another story. So it shows swap is disabled. It shows I'm running at 835 megabytes out of an 8 gigs of RAM or 7.5 gigs of RAM. It's showing I'm using 11% of my RAM. And the disk, it shows as well. So that computer out there is a mechanical hard drive. It's a 500 gig mechanical hard drive. So it's showing I'm using 46 gigabytes out of my 500 gig. I'm using 10% of my hard drive space. And it's also showing that it's an EXT4 
file system. So I really like this. It's showing a lot more information. And, and the thing that got me looking for a new one was that I wanted to make this video to show you something else, which I haven't shown you yet. And like I said, when I used NeoFetch, when a message aged into another computer and I'm using NeoFetch, it doesn't show you what window manager or desktop environment you're using. So that's why I installed, or that's why I went searching for another application and I found FastFetch. And that's why I'm saying goodbye to NeoFetch. Now, but the point of this video was this. So I've been making YouTube videos for almost a year and a half. And in some of my videos, when I talked about the GNOME desktop, I really put it down. And one of the reasons was because it was using a lot of RAM. Like whenever I tried to use it, it was using 1.5 or 1.2 gigabytes of RAM with nothing else open. And the other reason why I used to put it down is because it was just so different. It was different than a Cinnamon desktop environment. It was different than a window manager. And I couldn't get into it. Now, recently, I did a video about GNOME, and I kind of liked it, and I gave it the thumbs up. And since I made that video, I actually installed GNOME on one of my computers. One of my real bare metal computers is running GNOME, and I've been playing with it, and I've really been getting to like it. And that was the whole reason I'm making this video. So now this video is not really about GNOME, and I'm not going to go into GNOME and show you what it's all about or anything like that. What this video is, is I'm going to do a comparison. And I wanted to do a comparison, and I couldn't do a comparison with NeoFetch. But I can with FastFetch. And this is what I'm going to do. I'm going to open up another screen, and I'm going to SSH into another computer. So I'm going to SSH, asking for my password, and now I'm in. So that's NeoFetch. And of course, you have to spell it right. So you can see this computer is, there's my username. It's an Acer. It's an Acer Aspire. It's an old one. And it's running the long-term support. Well, it's running the real-time long-term support kernel, the same one as this other one. And again, it doesn't show that I have two monitors. And it doesn't show what window manager or desktop environment I'm in. So let's clear the screen. And let's go to this one and clear the screen. And let's type in fast fetch. And let's type in this one, fast fetch. And you know what, I'm gonna have to move my face. So this screen where my face is, this is the Dell that's in the living room. And like I already mentioned, it's hooked up to two monitors. Well, it's hooked up to a monitor, a computer monitor and the television, and it's running the cinnamon desktop. Uh, like I said, it has uh, 40 gigs of uh, gigabytes usage of space out of my 500 gig hard drive. And that's because I have uh, music and videos in there and other, pro other things in there. Okay. And it's using 833 gigabytes of RAM out of my 8 gigabytes of RAM. And this computer here is the Acer. It's right down below me. It's a real bare metal computer, an Acer Aspire, and it's running the GNOME desktop. Now, you can see the disk space, the install, and actually, let's just make that full screen for a sec. Let's just type it out. Okay, there. So you can see the install of this computer, this Acer that's below me, the install is only using 10 gigabytes. And the reason why is because I don't have any music or videos or personal files or spreadsheets or anything in here. The only thing that's in there is the install and my applications. And I use this computer for surfing the internet and for watching YouTube videos. <laughs> okay. And you can also see it's a small hard drive. And that's because it's an SSD. It's a small I had a larger hard drive in there, a mechanical drive, and it went dead. It died on me. So I bought a cheap uh, SSD and put it in. So it's small, but hey, so my Arch install is only using 10 gigabytes. And 
I'm only using 9% of my space, and you can see it's an EXT4. So I'm only using 743 megabytes of RAM out of my 8 gigs of RAM. I'm only using 10% of my RAM. So let's go back. So that was the point of this whole video. The reason why I went looking for fast fetch because NeoFetch wasn't doing what I wanted it to do, wasn't giving me the information I wanted. And I wanted to make a comparison because the GNOME desktop environment has always been known to be high on RAM usage. And whenever I tried it in years gone by, it was like running at 1200 megabytes of RAM with nothing opened. But look at this now. Look at the comparison. So this is running GNOME 45.4 and it's running on 743 megabytes of RAM. This computer is running the Cinnamon desktop and it's running at 833 megabytes of RAM. So actually the computer with the Cinnamon desktop is using more RAM than the computer with GNOME. How about that? Now, let's clear the screen and let's do an HTOP. And I'm just going to bring my face down and let's go here. Let's do an H top here. You can see here, both computers have been up for 19 hours. Okay. The uptime is 19 hours on both computers. The computer on this side only has three processors. It has eight gigs of RAM and it's running the GNOME desktop environment. And it's only using 647 megabytes of RAM. Wow. First of all, that's low for a desktop environment. Now, I know window managers are run lower, but that's a whole different story. 647 megabytes of RAM for any desktop environment is really decent. Now look at this computer here on this side above my face. This one has four processors, the same amount of RAM. It's running on eight gigabytes of RAM and it's using 737 megabytes of RAM. So you see the one running the Cinnamon desktop is using 737 megabytes of RAM. And the one running the GNOME desktop is running at 647 megabytes of RAM. Isn't that amazing? And isn't that really interesting? So that was the whole point of making this video. That was the whole reason why I looked for an alternative to NeoFetch. Because fast fetch gives more information. And that's it. In this video, I talked about why I'm saying bye to NeoFetch and hello fast fetch. Now the only thing is is that fast fetch, as far as I know, it's not available in the Debian repos, but it is available in the official Arch Linux repo. So if you're running Arch Linux, you don't have to go into the AUR to get it. You can get it from the main Arch repository. I think uh, FastFetch is a lot better than NeoFetch. It gives more information and it's faster because it's written in a different language. Also, the reason why I wanted to make the video is I wanted to show you a comparison of RAM usage between the Cinnamon desktop environment and the GNOME desktop environment because I'm really impressed with GNOME. The GNOME environment in my two different computers, but both computers were up for the same amount of time. Both computers are running Arch Linux. One computer running GNOME is using less RAM, 600 and change, than the, Cinnamon, the computer running the Cinnamon desktop, which was 700 and change. So right now, the GNOME desktop environment runs lower than the Cinnamon desktop environment. And I'm only saying all this to let you know that number one, I'm going to be doing some more videos about the GNOME desktop environment because I have it installed on one of my computers. I've been playing with it, getting to know it, becoming more familiar with it and getting to like it. So I'm going to be doing some more videos on the GNOME desktop environment. And that if you're using Arch Linux, download FastFetch. It's fantastic. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please like it and don't forget to subscribe to my channel. It really helps it out. Thank you for watching. Until next time, I am the Lennox Mitch.